up people, how are you today? Personally, I'm just fine, it's a bit grey today So I must look like very white, you know like, you know, mixed girl issues, mixed girl problem I don't know if you can hear but there is like my neighbors are arguing so loudly so I hope it's not going to like bother us Anyway, we're not here to talk about my neighbors but to talk about some pretty controversial topics or the random one, you know like the one that you maybe want to talk about, but your friends or your family or people around you are just like, oh my god, that's so boring. Don't worry, boys, girls, because you know what? I got you. So let's get started. So, today's topic is gonna be the fear of being alone. How to deal with being alone. So I know it's exactly the same topic as the last one because I just noticed when I edited it that actually I just gave one angle of the answer but I didn't really like tackle the answer. I didn't give how to face it. I just told you why is it not um, such a big deal to, to be alone and what is kind of actually good to be alone you know because when you accept being alone like I said you end up not being alone. But now in this video, I'm just going to address the how, how to reach that acceptance, that acceptance level, okay? So, now that everything is clear, let's just, you know, sit down, relax, and hear my rumbling. <laughs> so, everybody sat down very well, have your cup of tea, because you know, I'm going to talk, talk, talk. Basically. How to get over this feeling, how to accept to be alone is actually very easy because all you need is confidence. I know it's easier said than done, but um, actually you just have to understand one simple thing. What makes you happy in the first place? Is it like the people? Is it the moment that you're going to share with them? Or is it the actual thing? There's a lot of time we just like Oh, I'm, I can't do that because I don't have anyone to come with me. I can't do that because I don't have anyone to do this with me. But what do you really want? Do you really want the people or do you really want the thing? Because I travel a little bit and I happen to find myself at first, you know, like alone like in the beginning because, you know, you don't know people, you don't speak your language. So you're like, oh my God, where I am, what am I going to do here? Uh, is a, um, anybody's going to understand me? You don't know that. So I was like, I might as well just enjoy my, enjoy my time alone and, you know, find people on the way that will get with me and just accept uh, to like form a group. And that's actually what happened. Imagine you want like a cookie, a muffin, or I don't know, like something like sweet, salty, whatever. Like think about like your favorite snacks. You want it. But, well, if you, to go there, you have to, you know, to take the metro, you have to go in front of uh, maybe houses that you know, maybe like school, maybe whatever. So you're feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to have to travel all this way alone to get a cookie. And I'm by myself, so... Okay, so my battery died. So I tried to put the camera the same way, but I'm not sure it goes the same. Hopefully I'm not like falling down. Anyway, what I was saying is that you, for the example, if you want a cookie, you want a, you want like a muffin or something, a snack that you really like, it's a bit far and you have no one to come with you. We just like stay there and be like okay because i have no one to come with me because i'm gonna be alone because people are gonna see me alone they're gonna think like oh my god she doesn't have she doesn't have friends or whatever i'm not going to go there think do you want the cookie or do you want the people that's very important because if what you, the thing you want is more important than the moment you're going to share than the talks and everything then you should definitely go for it except to be alone be confident just be confident and if somebody stop you or look at you weirdly you think like hey guys it's not because you're not going to be happy in your life because you're afraid to be alone then i'm gonna do the same i heard a video last time like a speech from td jakes i don't know if you know he's like a not a priest but like you know something a bit religious but he's just doing like sermon or like very um, motivational speeches and all this kind of stuff and he was talking about courage and his speech really really struck me like touch me to the heart because he said that it takes a lot of courage to be different it takes a lot of courage to be yourself it takes a lot of courage to be above to win and he said something else is that people only talk about people who win if you don't win if you're not successful who knows you so nobody's going to talk about you 
and it takes a lot of courage to face this and be yourself and you know um, do something with the gift with the gift that God gave you at birth you can also deny it refuse it and just like be like everybody else and fit in and just like you know think like them do like them so and have the same fear as them even though you're a completely different human beings so yeah it does take a lot of courage to be confident but that's something you have to work on yourself something you should aspire to take responsibility assume what you want what's going to make you happy you have to put in order to be truly happy that's weird but you have to put your happiness first you cannot let people decide what's going to make you happy is that because for them is having a lot of people around them i know a girl she was sleeping at like 4 a.m. every morning she was always like she didn't really have a lot of sleep even though she was going to school and everything because she always wanted to be in a group always wanted to be with someone she hated to be by herself and I couldn't understand that I mean like maybe that's her thing what makes her happy is to be with people that's definitely not my thing me is like a bit of people and a bit of a long time and a bit of things that was makes me happy so if I want a cookie I'm just gonna get up dress up walk all the way there take it and you know what all of you is going to cry because nobody wants to come with me i will be enjoying my cookie like you know with a big smile and be like i'm living my life okay assume what you want and if somebody says something like that's what makes me happy just tell them that that's the best answer you can the best answer you can give to someone i do it because i like it because that's what makes me happy it's a lot of courage to have the voice to admit it but you will see, he's going to free you in so many ways you have no idea, okay? So every time you doubt it, every time you're thinking, I don't want to do that, I can't. That's the word. That, I, that word is very dangerous. When you say, I can't do something because I'm alone, because there's no one to come with me. They're going to do something with me. And what you want, it's the thing not necessarily the people the people are just there actually to reassure you sometimes they're just bonus you know you can go to a really nice concert with only one person or with your brothers or your family whatever and it's not going to be the same experience if you go with a group of friends of course it can be a bonus but do you really want to miss that opportunity to see that artist that maybe is going to come like once in a while once in five years to your country just because you have no one next to you no one who your best friend cannot come with you do you really want to miss that chance at a one-time opportunity because of others schedules what's most important what's going to bring you happiness what memory do you want because memories with them you can have them all the time but this kind of memory this kind of happiness you choose to take it or not and god is not going to send you uh, like uh, a bunch of them every single second you know you have to take chances when they come and enjoy it, find happiness. You know, I happen sometimes to go, sometimes I just go out to have a walk, like to, to go to discover a place. I know like none of my friends like it and it's actually there that I will find the people with the same interest, you know, and then we're just going to chat. Okay, you need to be kind of a social person and I'm not that social, despite what you can see. I'm not really that social, but it will happen naturally, you know just force yourself push yourself a little bit okay push yourself to be confident to show yourself confidence even just in the way you are in the way you stand the way you're looking the little smile you have when you see something you bring someone to talk to you and you're going to discover nice people in this world they're not all bad okay that's how you can accept to be alone so just be confident know what you want what really is going to make you happy people or the, the, the goal, the objective. Once you get the answer, you know what you have to chase for. You know what you have to do. Actually text people to bring them to you, to have them, you know, talk to a bunch of uh, people, go to chats, go to room chats, go to play, whatever, to meet people because that's what makes you happy. Or it's just go to the place you want to go and buy whatever you want to buy and, you know, live the experience you want to live because that's the most important for you. Set priorities. Focus on yourself and once you know that, never forget it. Remind yourself every single week why you're doing something. When you doubt, remind yourself why, why, why. And at the end of the day, you're going to win. You're going to reach that level of confidence that will 
that help you, you know, get through life and reach your goals. I'm telling you. So yeah, I think I talked a lot about this. I don't know if I was very clear, like usual, you know, like I just go like this. I'm not going like on the highway when it comes to those topics. Like usual, if you have comments, questions or whatever, you can also, you know, contact me with those three, knowing that this one is my personal favorite. I always repeat the same thing, always. Apart from that, I think we're all good for today. So I hope you're gonna have a lovely week. See you next time. Bye-bye.